part one, you saw how to install the ANSYS electromagnetic suite. In this part, we'll install ANSYS layout integrations for ECAD translators. You will see that various electrical CAD translator binaries were also automatically installed with the EM suite. The translator executables let you directly import third-party layouts into the ANSYS EM products. For example, they let you open Cadence BRD and MCM files in SIWAVE or HFSS 3D layout directly. Layout integrations for ECAD is a separate installation option that adds an ANSYS menu option into the supported third-party layout products. These products are Cadence SPB, Mentor Board Station, Mentor Board Station XE, and Mentor Expedition. Install layout integrations for ECAD only if you run the Cadence and Mentor layout products and want to see a menu item in their user interfaces that will allow you to export data to ANSYS EM. If you don't actually edit layout in those tools, then the translators installed as part of the ANSYS EM suite may be enough for your needs. The third-party tools must be installed on your machine before you install layout integrations for ECAD, since it adds files to their existing directories. Before going further, I want to emphasize these things again. First, layout integrations for ECAD is needed only if you want ANSYS menu items in third-party tools from Cadence and Mentor Graphics. The preferred solution for Mentor Graphics is to use ODB++. The layout integration for Mentor is for legacy use only. Finally, ODB++ doesn't require this setup. The required binaries are part of the main ANSYS EM suite installation. The install shield wizard is launched to prepare the setup. We recommend closing all other Windows programs before installing. Read the ClickWrap license agreement carefully. If you accept the terms of the license agreement, click Yes. Either choose the default destination location or specify the desired path. Click Next. Click Next. Layout integrations for ODB++ and Mentor Pads are automatically installed. For ODB++ translation, ANSYS tools officially support only the third-party vendors shown here. ODB++ coming from other sources may not translate properly. Select the third-party tools you wish to integrate with here. This will create ANSYS menu items in those tools. You can select from Cadence SPB and Mentor Graphics products. If you integrate with Cadence SPB, you need to specify the location of the Cadence PCB ENV directory. This is the same path you selected when installing Cadence. If you don't remember the path, launch Cadence. At the command prompt, type echo dollar local env and press enter. This command displays the path of the PCB ENV directory in your computer. Go back to the installation window for ECAD translators now. Browse to PCB ENV to specify the destination folder correctly. Confirm the folder location. Click Yes. Now set up licensing. Select I want to specify a license server. Enter the server name and port number. If your organization is running a triad license server configuration, then enter all three server names. Finally, review the list of third-party tools for installing translators and configuring integrations. Click Next. When the installation completes, click Finish, then close the installation shell. Go to Program Files, open ANSYS EM. Layout Integrations is a separate installation from ANSYS EM. This subdirectory contains the integration files for third-party tools. The installer automatically creates an SI Integrate 4 DIR environment variable that points to the Layout Integrations subdirectory. It also creates an SI Wave install DIR environment variable that points to the ANSYS EM installation directory. Make sure that these are set to the desired version of the ANSYS software. All the products you need are installed. Let's open ANSYS SI Wave and ANSYS HFSS 3D Layout. You can double click these shortcuts to launch SI Wave and 3D Layout directly from the desktop. You can also go to Start, All Programs, ANSYS Electromagnetic Suite, and open it. From here, you can launch Electronics Desktop or SI Wave. Double click ANSYS SI Wave. This opens ANSYS SI Wave. 
SI Wave is a tool for electromagnetic analysis of entire PCBs and packages. In SI Wave, you can perform signal integrity, crosstalk, power integrity, DCIR drop, EMI, EMC, and various other analyses. This printed circuit board came from an ODB directory generated from LTM Designer. Here's an example of DCIR analysis results calculated for this board in SI Wave. Now launch ANSYS Electronics Desktop. Insert an HFSS 3D layout design type. HFSS 3D layout is a full wave layout based electromagnetic simulator with a specialized interface for geometry created in layout tools. This is a typical example of a printed circuit board in 3D layout. This concludes part two. In part three, we'll translate ECAD geometries like board and multi chip module files from Cadence Allegro products into ANSYS.